so far we learned about five pairwise equivalent representations for regular languages dfa nfa nfa with uh, epsilon transitions regular grammar and regular expressions we also have uh, learned about two necessary conditions for regular languages the pumping lemma and uh, ultimate periodicity since these are necessary conditions every regular language should satisfy these conditions so if we can prove that a language is failing to satisfy one of these conditions then we can conclude that the language is non regular also we saw that these are not sufficient conditions meaning a language satisfying one of these conditions is not enough for the language to be regular we know that uh, we can find any of the five formal representations for a regular language so when a language is said to be regular we can assume without loss of generality that say there exists a deterministic finite state automaton for any regular language the agenda that we start discussing today is about equivalent dfas meaning different dfas for the same regular language and we shall also discuss about a unique minimal dfa for any regular language we will prove that for any regular language there exists a unique dfa with the minimal number of states to represent that language so today we shall discuss about equivalent dfas and uh, minimal state automaton for equivalent dfas uh, we can see some examples here is a dfa given what is the language of this dfa since both the states are final it accepts all the strings on the set ab it is a set of all strings over ab now see this dfa a single state dfa and it is easy to see that the language is same hence the dfas a and b are equivalent what we did or if you want to see how you can obtain the single state dfa from a two states dfa you can see that these two are equivalent state because it doesn't matter whatever you do from a state you are going to accept all these strings so no need for q0 and q1 to be different so you can combine them collapse them we will see them uh, why they have to be collapsed etc two dfas a and b are said to be equivalent if and only if their languages are same if the languages are there uh, same they are equivalent and if they are equivalent then the languages must be same and all that b is a uh, dfa with a fewer number of states 
in this case this is going to be the minimal state DFA you cannot have a DFA without any states next example see this DFA it's a DFA if from every state you can find transitions for A and B and can you find what language is represented by this DFA if you observe you can see that once you get into state Q5 everything is accepted from there and if you see this DFA you can see that any string of length at least 3 will take you to the state Q5 it does not matter through which path you are coming so whatever be the first 3 simple after processing them you will reach into q5 with that observation you can say that the language is the set of all strings over a b said that the string length is greater than or equal to 3 at least 3 simples given that see what language is represented by the dfa b it is very easy to see that it is again the same language. Thus, we have uh, two DFAs, one with fewer number of states. Here again, if you want to obtain this DFA from this, you have to find the equivalent states and then combine or collapse them. How we will find that, we will see in the next class. Third example, this is again a DFA on the alphabet set AB and if you want to see the language you can see that it is the set of all strings containing ABA as a substring. If ABA is there you will reach into this state then once you get into that state it does not matter wherever you go maybe in Q4 or Q5 or Q3 in one of the state one of these three states always so once after you get into Q3 you will accept and the criterion to get into Q3 is existence of the suffering ABA I hope you are getting it otherwise please verify it offline what the language is given that look at this DFA you can see that this is again for the same language. So, in this case all the last three states are equivalent. No point in having all the three different states. Because once you get into Q3 it does not matter where, uh, where you go. Wherever you are, you are in one of these three states and each one is accepting. So, you can uh, somehow find uh, all these uh, states are equivalent then combine or collapse them into a single state that is what you can do. Now, how will you find equivalent state that we shall see in the next lecture. Now, let us look at an example where you are given with this NFE and if you apply the subset construction algorithm to obtain a DFA from this you will obtain this as the DFA with the 16 states in it. If you want you can apply the subset construction algorithm you will get all the 16 states no doubt because uh, here there are 4 states the set of all subsets is 16 all the 16 states are there. And if you look at this DFA, you can see that only 8 states are going to be useful. All these red states are non breachable from the initial state. So, you can just throw away the non breachable state. All these are non breachable, so no need to have them. If you just remove all those, the language is same. So, removing non reachable states 
gives an equivalent DFE. So if you have non-feachable states, then without any cost you can just remove them to get a DFE with a fewer number of states. So what we observed in this lecture through those examples is that given a deterministic finite state automaton, uh, we can uh, automatically obtain a minimal state automaton equivalent to the given machine. The answer is yes, yes you can. There exists an algorithm to find an equivalent minimal state uh, automaton from a given automaton. This is the topic that we are going to see in the next lecture. Basically, it is an algorithm. What it do is, first it removes all the non preachable states, if any in the given DFE. From the last example, we saw that when we apply some set construction, the resulting DFE may be containing non reachable states. So, you can just throw away all the non reachable states. So, that is the first step the algorithm is going to do. Definitely, it will reduce the number of states without uh, affecting the language represented. Then, it is going to find all equivalent states somehow and then collapse them or combine them to get a minimum state DFE. Today we have seen some example equivalent DFAs. Two DFAs are said to be equivalent if and only if they accept the same language. So this leads to a problem of finding the minimal state DFA for any language. Any language means because there is a DFA regular language. Suppose uh, we are given with a regular language, then can we automatically obtain a minimal state DFA that is a DFA with the minimum possible states to represent that language. The answer to this question is yes, we can. There exists an algorithm which we can apply, which is an efficient algorithm. In the next class, we are going to learn that algorithm. It is an efficient algorithm which will take uh, DFA as input. When the language is regular, we can assume without loss of generality that there exists a DFA. So, when a language is given, you can assume that what is given is a DFA. Given that DFA, there exists a process or an automatable procedure which can generate the unique minimal DFA for that language. And the algorithm for this we are going to see in the next lecture. Thank you.